here's what you're going to get from this video. The best Titan build in Destiny 2 for spamming void abilities. Clear through waves of enemies instantly with huge void explosions. This build is perfect for seasonal activities, medium difficulty nightfalls, normal raids, and gambit. Basically where 90% of you spend 100% of your time. This build revolves around constant grenade uptime and grenades that chain kills to all of the enemies that are grouped up. It's like using War Mind Cells, but way more fun. All of this crescendos into a very fast super for even more enemy clearing. I'm gonna walk through what you need for this build and then how it works. If you like clearing away tons of enemies with a bunch of flashy explosions, this is the super simple build for you and you should hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm for me. To start, we're gonna run Middle Tree Sentinel, Code of the Commander because of Control Detonation, which hitting targets with void abilities attach void detonators that explode when enough damage is dealt. Also on this tree is Resupply, which gives you and nearby allies health back, but more importantly, it gives grenade and melee ability energy when void detonators explode. And then your melee ability, Tactical Strike, creates another void explosion when you melee an enemy, giving you even more grenade energy back. Next, there's only two pieces of gear that you need. The only exotic you need is the exotic chest piece, the Armamentarium, to get a second grenade. Having the second grenade keeps this entire build chugging along smoothly without that awkward moment that happens when you don't have any abilities available. The only weapon you need is a weapon with Demolitionist on it. The best thing to use is Salvager Salvo because Chain Reaction will cause more enemies to die and more enemies that die give you more grenade energy back from Demolitionist. With this build, you don't even need to waste a moment reloading because there's always a grenade for you to throw to get the auto reload. Alright, so this gear you need is really easy to obtain and you probably already have Armamentarium and Salvager Salvo. Feel free to run whatever else you want for weapons and armor. All you need now for this build are armor mods. This is gonna sound like a lot, so don't worry if it doesn't make sense right away because I'll walk through what this build is doing in a moment. The armor mods you need are a solar class item. On this solar class item, you're gonna use bomber, which reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability, and elemental ordinance, which defeating an enemy with a grenade will then spawn an elemental well that matches your subclass. So a grenade kill will drop a void elemental well. Then you're going to need Void Boots to run Absolution, which reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an Orb of Power. Also on these boots, you're going to use the mod Energy Converter. This grants you super energy when you use your grenade while charged with light. Throwing your grenade consumes all of your charged with light stacks. The more stacks you have, the more energy you get. Keep in mind that you only get super energy from this until you reach 50% of your super bar filled. Once that happens, Energy Converter will not proc again until you're below 50% again. You do lose one tier of Discipline, so make sure to equip a Discipline mod to replace what you lost. Next, on a Void Chest piece, you're going to use Elemental Charge. With Elemental Charge, you get a stack of Charge with Light when you pick up an Elemental Well. Because each Void Grenade is going to drop Void Elemental Wells, you're actually going to get two Charge with Light stacks. No other mods are required here, so feel free to run whatever else you'd like to for mods. You'll have plenty of space for a Discipline mod here. Again, I'll walk through everything that's going on in this build after the last armor piece. It'll all be clear then if you're having a little trouble understanding what's going on. For your gloves, you can use any element. What you need to run on this is the seasonal artifact mod called Impulse Recycler. What this mod does is grenade final blows will grant grenade energy back multiple copies stacked together and increase the amount of energy that you get, so make sure to run two of them. After the season of the slicer, you'll use impact induction on solar gloves. With impact induction, punch one enemy to get a bunch of grenade energy back, and then get a little bit more energy from the code of the commander's tactical strike. Again, make sure to run two of these mods together. On a solar helmet, you're gonna use ashes to assets. You'll gain bonus super energy on grenade kills, which makes sense since you'll have double grenades and be constantly throwing them for kills. Make sure to run two of these to stack up the super energy that you get. Also on the helmet, you're gonna use the mod Font of Wisdom. 
Picking up void elemental wells grant temporary, significant increases to intellect, improving the recharge rate of your super. Other than those specific mods, on as many armor pieces as you can, equip discipline mods for the faster grenade recharge. I totally understand if you don't have all of these mods, or maybe you want to tailor it a little bit differently, so here's a couple optional mods. Font of Might, which gives a temporary bonus to weapon damage when picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass type. Basically, if you're using a void weapon, a void subclass, and pick up void elemental wells, your void weapon does more damage. You can also use the Elemental Armaments mod. Weapon kills with a damage type matching subclass elements have an escalating chance to spawn elemental wells. A void weapon would start creating void elemental wells for you. These two mods would be if you want to run a more weapon focused version of this build, or maybe you're running higher level content where enemies have more health. You'd need to use your weapons more in these activities, so these would be good to keep the build going if grenades alone are having trouble keeping it up. And lastly, instead of using Bomber on your class item, you can use Distribution. This reduces all ability cooldowns when using your class ability near enemies. I prefer Bomber for the grenade focus, but you might want to weave all of your abilities more into the build by using Distribution. Yeah, so uh, that's a lot of information. Now for the moment some of you have been waiting for, let's quickly walk through everything that's going on here. This build uses grenades to start a chain reaction that attaches void detonators to enemies hit by that grenade. Those void detonators from Code of the Commander then explode, doing even more damage to enemies within the area of the grenade. Those exploding void detonators give you ability energy back. Grenade kills give you even more grenade energy back because of the seasonal artifact mod Impulse Recycler, which you get from the final column on the Season of the Spicer artifact. Those grenades still aren't done working for us. Grenade kills drop void elemental wells. Picking up those void wells funnels you super energy from Font of Wisdom. Those same elemental wells also give you two charged with light stacks because of elemental ordinance. Then throwing your grenade consumes those two stacks and gives you grenade energy back because of energy converter. And the grenade kills funnel you a ton of super energy because of ashes to assets. So there's four things in this build that are giving you grenade energy, void detonators exploding, your tactical strike melee ability, grenade kills, and using your class ability. And then picking up elemental wells, throwing your grenade, and getting grenade kills all give you super energy. So the non-stop gameplay loop of this build is to constantly throw grenades at groups of enemies and get your grenades continuously refilled. You get incredibly fast supers, so you're just in a non-stop rotation of slaying waves and waves of enemies. If you ever mess up the cycle or something stops it in its tracks, Absolution, Distribution, and Salvager Salvo are there for you to instantly get it back up again. Try this build out in Gambit, Strikes, Nightfalls, Normal Raids, really anything that doesn't have bullet sponge enemies in it. If you're short on time, I have one minute versions of all of my guides on Patreon. Thanks for watching.